Hello folks, my name's John Riley from Bigger in Scotland and I've put together this short mindfulness session to help those of you who are maybe struggling that bit more just now with the stresses and strains and maybe anxiousness of the predicament we find ourselves in. Um, so first of all, thank you for allowing me to be your guide and for a moment just thank yourself for taking this time to look after your own mental health which is so important that you take some time out each day to just relax and consider how your thoughts that you engage with are affecting your feelings. And that's really what mindfulness is all about, to help you be mindful of what your thought pattern is and not allow yourself to get drawn into unhelpful thoughts and to recognise how your body is feeling. And throughout this session, what I want you to do is to just notice when your mind drifts off, when you stop focusing on my guide and you start thinking about something else. And I want you to notice that point in time and then bring your attention back to what I'm saying and allow that thought to drift off without judging um, that thought. So... That's the process I would like you to go through. I'm going to encourage you to do it as we go through this, um, but I'd like you to automatically do it yourself as much as you can. And it's that practice, hopefully on a daily basis, that will help you gradually to be able to do it much more easily. So let's start off by sitting upright with our feet on the floor and our hands on our lap or maybe cupped in front of us. And maybe just close your eyes for a moment and we'll do some nice, slow, deep breaths with no rush. And I'm going to ask you to pause after your out breath. I'm going to take a nice, slow breath in in a minute. I'm going to ask you to hold your breath for maybe a count of seven, which I'll count. And then a slow breath out for a count of eight or nine, followed by a nice, slow pause before you take a breath in. And we'll just settle down, basically. So here we go, eyes closed, and take a nice slow breath in. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and slowly out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and pause, and then a breath in. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and pause, and breathe in, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and pause, and you just carry on doing that for the next two or three breaths and allow yourself to just settle into the chair and start to feel heavy and relaxed and you'll notice that each time you have that nice long slow out breath and during that pause you'll feel more and more relaxed and heavier and heavier that's right Now what I'd like you to do is, first of all, notice if your mind has already wandered off. And if it has, notice the thought that you're having. And then without judging it or engaging with that thought, just bring your attention back to my guide. And what I'd like you to do is focus now on your breathing. I want you to notice your chest rising and falling, your tummy going in and out. I want you to follow that wave of breath going in through your nostrils, nice cool breath, and then flowing out again either through your nostrils or through your mouth, slightly warmer than the breath going in, and just follow that wave of air. Notice 
notice your rib cage expanding and contracting. And get a sense of the volume of air that you're breathing in and out. And the pace of your breathing. Notice how fast you're breathing. Just a normal breath. And you'll probably notice that your breathing naturally starts to slow down. And as it does, your heart rate drops, your blood pressure drops. That all helps you to start relaxing that little bit more. That's right. mind has maybe wandered off again, just notice what it's thinking and then slowly and gently bring your attention back to your breath without judging that thought. And for a second focus on how important your breath is. It's the thing that keeps us alive day in day out. And we do thousands of breaths without even thinking about them, they just happen automatically. But when we do focus on it, it can help us to relax. In a moment, I want you to just start to notice the pauses. The pause after your in-breath and the pause after your out-breath. Notice that the pause after your out-breath is slightly longer than the one after your in-breath. And actually that's when you're at your most relaxed, is during that pause after your out breath. And I'd like you to do two or three deeper breaths now and hold the pause after your out breath and notice where you feel that relaxation most. Take a nice deep breath in and out. And just pause. No rush to breathe in, just notice where you feel the relaxation, whether it's in your hips, or your chest, or your arms, or your legs. And then another nice slow breath in. And slowly out. And just breathe at your own pace now, but notice from wherever you feel that relaxation most, Allow it to start to radiate out to the rest of your body. That's right. Give yourself permission to let go completely. Allow your body to feel heavy. Sink down into the chair. Feeling heavier and heavier. And just allow your breathing to return to a normal pace. That's good. Now if your mind's wandered off again, notice the thought. And without judging it and without engaging with it, bring your attention back this time to your sense of hearing. And you can obviously hear my voice and the music in the background. Notice what else you can hear. Maybe traffic in the distance. Maybe somebody in the room next door. Maybe a TV or a radio on. But if it's quiet, you might be able to hear your own breath. Or even your own heartbeat. If you listen really carefully. Notice how your mind can only focus on one thing at a time. And then move your attention to your sense of taste and smell. And just notice if you have any residual taste, maybe from a meal or a drink you've just had. And notice what you can smell, maybe just particular smell of your room 
or maybe an aftershave or scent or deodorant. And notice how you can't taste without your sense of smell. They're both intrinsically linked. Then, even though you've got your eyes closed, notice what you can see. Notice any colours, any movement. Notice how, if you raise your eyebrows, the colours change as you let more light into your eyebrow, into your eyelids. And if you focus on that point between your eyebrows, the colours quite often darken. And that's the point of real meditative relaxation. And then we'll move to your sense of touch. Starting with your hair on your head. Notice what it feels like when your hair touches your forehead or your ears or your neck. What does that feel like? What do your clothes feel like touching your skin? Is it jaggy or smooth? Or is it just a sense of warmth? And then notice where your body touches the chair. Maybe draw an imaginary line around each area, starting at your shoulders and moving down your back. Down through your bottom and back of your legs. And notice your feet touching the inside of your socks and shoes. Then gently move your hands and notice which parts of your hands are most sensitive. And then move to your sense of touch in your mouth. Move your tongue around the inside of your mouth and notice which are the most sensitive areas. Probably the roof of your mouth. But notice how dull other areas are. Notice the contours, the textures. And now move your attention back to your whole body and notice how you feel compared to when we started. If you've got any areas of tension, maybe in your neck or your back, just notice where it starts and finishes and how deep it goes. And for the next few breaths, just try to breathe into that particular area and allow those muscles to lengthen and soften and give yourself permission to completely let go. Take a nice breath in and breathe out into that particular area of tension or stress. And do that two or three more times. And allow the muscles to lengthen and soften. And just get that sense of your body feeling heavier and heavier. And pressing down on the seat as gravity draws you down. That's right. And now if you follow your breath again, I want you to use your imagination now to take yourself to a beach that you've been in the past, maybe a perfect beach on your perfect holiday. 
And if you can't think of a particular one, just use your imagination to create your perfect beach. Maybe it has aquamarine coloured sea with white sand and palm trees. And allow your breathing to mirror the waves lapping on the shore. Oh, that's right. Because your mind doesn't know the difference between reality and an imagined scene. So you can take yourself to this perfect beach scene whenever you want to help you relax. The sun's beaming down on your forehead. The waves are lapping on the shore. And they're following the pace of your breathing. That's right. Notice the colours. Notice the shapes. Notice the movement. Notice if there's anybody else there with you. And whilst we're in this relaxed state, I want you to move your attention now to the people in your life that mean the most to you. And think of the words that you'd like to say to them and how that makes them feel and how it makes you feel. Tell them how much you really love them and what they mean to you and how grateful you are to have them in your life. And then turn those words of love and compassion back on yourself because it's so important that you take time for yourself and that you love yourself before you can truly love anybody else. You know there are lots of things that you're good at, so focus on those things and don't allow your mind to get drawn into self-criticism, which we all do. Whenever you have those unhelpful thoughts, let them go and bring your attention back to present moment and whatever you're doing there and then. Now consider taking that same compassion out into your everyday life. To your friends, to your colleagues, to anybody you might meet. Because when we show that compassion to others, we get it back tenfold. And it makes life that much more content. And now let's consider the other things in our life that we need to be grateful for. Like having a warm bed to sleep in and a roof over our heads which many people in the world don't have. We have sufficient food and clean drinking water, which many people don't have. We live in a beautiful country, with beautiful countryside that's at peace and many people in the world don't. And above all, we still have life itself and our senses to be able to appreciate all these things. Our sense of hearing to be able to hear someone else's voice. Our sense of taste and smell to be able to enjoy our food and smell the scent of beautiful flowers 
the sense of sight to be able to see the wonders of nature and other human beings and the sense of touch to be able to appreciate the touch of another human being and when we focus on these simple things in life and we're grateful for them, it makes life so much more content and settled and takes our mind away from the things we might be anxious about. And now bring your attention back to your body and notice how you feel now compared to when we started. And recognize that you have been able, to a degree, to be able to notice your thoughts and gently be able to let them go. And brought your attention back to my guide. And it's that exercise that can help you in your daily life. With a bit of practice, hopefully on a daily basis, you'll find it easier and easier to stop yourself engaging with unhelpful thoughts and just focus on whatever you're doing there and then in the moment and to remind yourself of the things, lots of things that we still should be grateful for that will help you cope in an otherwise difficult situation. So I hope you've enjoyed this short mindfulness session and that you'll maybe practice using it from day to day. Maybe in the morning to set yourself up for the day or possibly of an evening to help you sleep. And if you're enjoying just being in that calm, relaxed, safe internal world, you can stay there as long as you wish. But eventually just get a sense of where you are in the room and then wiggle your fingers and toes and open your eyes to a soft gaze. Have a stretch, maybe a glass of water. Thank you for taking the time to be with me today and I wish you well for the future. Goodbye.